Hey everybody, welcome back to another InfoSec Operator video. I'm going to start off with a proposal this video. And that proposal is, is that if I get 100 subscribers, I'm going to build each of you a website that each of you can learn and practice hacking on without ever paying a single dime. And with the most up-to-date uh, security information and training. Um, that is available to me so you guys will learn things from uh, from hacking to programming to basic cybersecurity and information security and cryptography and I'm gonna set it up where in order to get to the next level you will have to test your knowledge and hack into the next web page to learn the next thing so guys, if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so we can hit 100 subscribers and I can get started on that website. I won't start on that website until I get 100 subscribers because um, I need to know that all the effort that I put into it is actually going to be worth something. And if I can hit that milestone, then I know that I'm going to be impacting at least 100 people's lives, if not more, for those of you who just swing by, watch a video or two, which is fine. Um, but I highly recommend that you subscribe so that way when we, I do hit 100 subscribers, I will uh, put that link only in one of my videos when that time comes. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at a very simple program. Um, we are going to do MAC address spoofing here on Windows, and in order to do that, go ahead to the link down in the description or pause the video and go to technidium.com slash tmac forward slash and click the download now. Now this is a Windows only program, uh, so it's not going to work on any other operating system. So. Uh, now I'm going to minimize this once it is downloaded and it is extremely simple. It's literally just a point and click uh, situation here. Um, and once that's downloaded and installed on your system, uh, go ahead and open that up. And then whenever the little sign comes up that each of you uh, need to uh, allow this program to make changes to your computer go ahead and click yes it is a solid program I have run it through um, antivirus and it, it's not it doesn't do anything bad nothing came up okay so mine is currently already changed um, as we can see here, the original MAC address was 6014B36092B. My active MAC address is 02204101B006. So, if you guys aren't familiar with MAC addresses, MAC is Media Access Control Address. It's hard encoded onto your system, so you can't actually change change your MAC address like you could with an IP address. But we can do a little bit of spoofing and um, kind of confuse things uh, while we're running this program. So, uh, you know, you guys are going to learn more about MAC addresses in networking tutorials and, and training, which I'll go ahead and start doing network tutorials so that way we can understand what we're looking at here. But uh, essentially what you need to know is that it changes your MAC address. Um, it's it's uh, in a way a form of security as well as a uh, form of hacking as well. Um, and th with that all I can say is that let's say you go to a hotel and your original MAC address used up all the free um, uh, hotel Wi-Fi that was allowed uh, well, during your stay you can change your MAC address and then when they come and address you for it you can just say that that is not my MAC address I didn't use all of it so I do not have to pay for the excess that I use um, so those of you who are more familiar with networking will understand what I just said so those of you who are new to this you're gonna be highly confused but 
again I guess you should uh, stick around for the networking tutorials that I'm coming out with here soon because I have decided that I'm going to be specializing in network security but anyways um, in order to change your MAC address just click on random MAC address uh, once you have a new address assigned to you and you see that the active magic MAC address is different from your original you are allowed to click restore original and everything goes back to the way that it was so really simple program um, just know that MAC address spoofing is is definitely um, it's real it's out there uh, it does work um, it will never ever physically alter your MAC address though so do be be very aware of that and uh, have fun with the program guys uh, really simple tutorial really simple video kind of taking a step back so that way the new people can um, get in on this hacking stuff and security stuff without trying to launch themselves into the advance so I took a step back and I wanted to teach um, the newbies some cool tips and tricks and get them kind of sliding in here up here with the um, you know more proficient users so that's what these uh, simple tutorials are but I'm gonna be returning to our advanced tutorials in literally the next video so I will see you guys there make sure you guys subscribe to not miss it we're going to be working a lot with Wireshark so just a heads up on that alright guys thanks for watching the video make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can reach 100 sub sub subscribers uh, so that way I can go ahead and get started on the website and I'll see you guys in the next video.